What is up, guys? It is I, Jane Poop here, and we are uh, going through more Resident Evil. Resident Evil 5. Only this time we are going to do uh, a bonus video. For, this is the first one, the first bonus video, of course. Uh, so, for this one, what we're gonna do in this one is we are going to um, uh, not only uh, look at all the bonuses that we can get for after we finish the game and all that. We're gonna get some ch achievements that we didn't get before. So, uh, along with a couple of other treasures that we missed, and uh, along with showing off the infinite uh, rocket launcher, which I've already got, but I will show the screen what happens when you collect it and all that. And when you do get any infinite ammo after finishing the game, you go to special settings. Infinite ammo. And there you go, it's right here. You turn it either on or off, it doesn't really matter. And then all the other guns that are infinite ammo compatible and all that, uh, we obviously are going to have it on and such. Also, after finishing the game, we unlock two new costumes. We unlock the heavy metal costume for Chris and the fairy tale costume for Sheva. Um, uh, after finishing the game, you get more costumes through the... Uh, bonus features menu, which we'll look at that later, and uh, all that, so um, let's go and get some stuff that we've missed in our main playthrough. However guys, before we start uh, showing off all of the uh, achievements that we missed and all that, and as well as uh, me getting the rocket launcher, uh, I'm going to show off a cool glitch you can do, so uh, the glitch, you need two controllers, two profiles, uh, uh, this is on Xbox One, by the way, so it might work slightly differently on PS4, as well as 360 and PS3. I've done it on 360 before. Uh, so, your main controller needs to be your main profile, but your second controller needs to be your other profile. So I'm, I'm going to switch real quick. And once we sign in to another account, um, we should get something, a message like that. So, when you press the Xbox button on your main controller, we should see, yeah, that's my profile. And on the other controller, it should be the other one, yes. Uh, when we're playing the same game. So, then we're going to go to chapter select. It doesn't matter what chapter, I recommend 2-1. It doesn't matter what difficulty either. It doesn't matter what character. And the settings don't really matter either. So, we're going to make sure the treasures are empty for both Chris and Shadow. Uh, and then, when you're in the game, you then want to you can't let the press start on the other controller, and there you go, you got two controllers controlling. So then, what you do, the, so for the items you want to duplicate, I'm just going to duplicate uh, the rotten eggs, I've done this before, and it works. So give all of them to Chris, for example, here, and then you want to do this, so you're giving them all to Sheva. So basically giving them to the second player. And you have to do it like this. This does take uh, a couple of... Uh, this does take time, but you will get it eventually. Okay. Alright, so once you've gave all of those eggs, uh, don't worry if you mess up by going back in the menu and that, uh, but as long as you do all that, it you, it should work. So then, you're going to back out with both controllers, and then start the game. And then, you want to just press uh, the give button a bunch of times. You have to do it this way, otherwise it doesn't work. So... So, you just, um, and it doesn't matter if your characters move either. Come on. So, Come on. Uh, it is also safe to do it this way as well, by equipping it that way. You just have to give like this. If you give it the other way during the menu, it won't work. Uh, so, it is safe to do that. It's typically useful if it doesn't automatically go to the item. 
Uh, so then, um, just do this a bunch of times. It's cool how you have the split screen as well. It's a good thing I'm showing this off as well. Okay, that's all of it. Uh, so, then, with your main controller, uh, you want to press start and quit. And press A twice. Uh, then, then we're going to go back to the item management. And then, we should have... You can see, uh, we're supposed to... You think we have them here, but we also have them here, even though we shouldn't. So, that means, yes, they are duplicated. So, yeah, that's how this works. And I'm not going to put those back yet. So, it's specifically, you mostly want to do it to rotten eggs, because the cell value is different. So, for white eggs, for example... It is only 250 N. Uh, I don't know what the N means. I hope it doesn't mean the N word. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, brown eggs are 500 N. Uh, gold eggs are 1000 N. And then rotten eggs are 2000. So it's best if you do it with rotten eggs because it's you can sell way more. You can see 45 just 90,000. So yes, it's particularly useful for those. You can put those back. And you can re you can repeat this glitch any time. Uh, uh, it, there's no limit of stopping you how many times you can do it and such. So, yeah, that's that glitch done. It's very easy to do. The only downside is that you do need two profiles and all that. You can do it with a friend online as well. So you can do it with their account. But I think they have to have Resident Evil 5 as well. And also, unfortunately, you cannot, like use mixed versions so you cannot use the xbox one version with the ps4 version or or even the xbox one with the 360 version or ps3 with the ps4 version you can't do that unfortunately it doesn't work like that it has to be the correct version the regions don't matter yeah because i because one i once played multiplayer with one of my brothers on ps3 and i had the japanese version he had the pal version the european version and that works but but the console versions do matter, so there's that. But that's the glitch. Now I'm going to show off everything else in this video. See you guys then. Yep, here we go. We've got the infinite rocket launcher. I just finished chapter 2-2 to get it. Along with a couple of other levels to get it, but eh, it was a cakewalk at least. Okay, so one of the achievements we have missed is where we chain the maximum combo. So, with this fat dude here... What we're supposed to do is we need to flash grenade him. Then we punch him like this. Sheva needs to hurt her like that. Except she didn't. Let's try again. Look, I need to hit him like this. And then... Oh, crap, we missed again. Luckily, I've got more flash grenades. Let's try again. And then... Oh, it didn't work again. I don't know why it's not working. Alright, let's try it again. Come on. Oh, none of it worked. Shit. Alright, attempt two. Let's see if we can try it again. So we're gonna throw that. And then, I'm gonna hit him. And then, yes! Got it! We did hit Shiver, unfortunately, but that killed him. And then we get the achievement. Yes. Thank God for that. Finally, I got it. Hmm. So, in 4-1, uh, I forgot a weapon here. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, my God. I am such a dumbass. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so, during... In Chapter 4-1, during the boss with this guy again, this time we do not want to run away to get this treasure. This time, we want to actually kill him. So, uh... Uh, it's luckily with the rocket launcher, it's an insta kill. So, it's going to be slightly difficult to get to him, but. Especially because he keeps facing me and not Shemo. So. Oh god. Uh, luckily, I've got infinite rocket launcher, so this would be easier. I think we got him. Uh, um, once you kill him, there it is the soul gem. This is the only place you can get this. And then, when you go up the stairs, you'll have no cutscene whatsoever. 
<laughs> At least you don't have to mash buttons and such, but yeah. I guess if you don't, if you want to see what it looks like, here you go. With no cutscene. There you go. Come on, you can't be serious. So yeah, that's what it's like. Oh god. Okay, so in this part we can find a this thing that we haven't got yet. So, we can hit Whisker like this again, and then we can hit him like that, and then, after enough hits, he should, we should get this achievement right here, which we didn't get before, it's called Bad Blood, and then he'll run off again, and then, after the cutscene, <laughs> okay, and then, when we go... So during the Jill fight, we should then find something here. Yeah, the Heart of Africa. And you can only get it after hitting Wesker. And I'm gonna get hit here. <sighs> okay. So at least we've got those out of the way. Okay, so now on to some of the weapon sides of things. So, uh, after upgrading certain guns, You'll have you'll have the ability to uh, unlock other guns through the shop. Uh, so, uh, for example, fully upgrading a handgun would give you a stronger handgun. I think this one's one of them, and this one's one of them. This one's one of them. I don't remember. I think the more expensive ones are the ones you would mostly get, obviously. But uh, yeah. Um. However, specifically, if you fully upgrade the it hacker M thirty three, I don't know how you say the first word. You will unlock uh, the Gatling gun, which cost fifty thousand. So, specifically with this gun, only Chris can have this. Um, so, and it's also infinite ammo. Uh, in addition, you can also unlock uh, um, something else by fully upgrading the S seventy five, which is a sniper rifle. You will unlock the longbow, which is the same price as the Gatling gun, and this one's only for Shether. So. Uh, it's basically like a crossbow, uh, uh, yeah, and it's also infinite ammo, uh, and I've got, so I've got both of those, uh, fully upgrading, uh, oh wait, no, I was wrong about the Gatling gun, it's not the shotgun you have to fully upgrade, it's the, um, uh, it's one of the machine guns, it's this one, it's this machine gun you have to fully upgrade, uh, I was thinking of, because this one, when you, uh, when you fully upgrade this, you'll get the Hydra, which is very expensive. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I got mixed up, but uh, you can look it up as well. Uh, so, uh, but these two uh, weapons, uh, yeah, you can see, I cannot give this one to Chris, I can only give this one to Shiver. Uh These ones specifically also have their own achievements, and we're going to get them. So, I'll meet you guys there. I'm, I'm on the first level, by the way, so I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so here's our Gatling gun. You can see we've got this massive thing on our back. And you can see we can shoot anything. So, so <laughs> for some reason we can shoot Shiver. I don't know why. Oh, that disappeared. Wow. Oh, there's two documents that I've not read. Interesting. It's just about the tutorial. Uh, so, yeah, the, the Gatling gun is infinite ammo. I don't know if you move slower because of that thing on your back, but... Don't Let's see if we can get those crows, uh, if Shever doesn't get in my way. Get out of the way, Shever! Oh my god. Oh, I only killed one of them. Uh, but specifically with our Gatling gun, um, we're going to go to one section uh, where there's multiple zombies and we normally run to the house. Uh, but only we're not going to run to the house, we're going to actually kill those enemies because... It's the best place to get the achievement. Plus, we can get a treasure that we fully missed. So. Um, so, we're going to go after this guy right here. You're the first zombie we ever encounter. Yeah, you can see the Gatling gun is that strong. Cool how you don't drop uh, faster with that on, but... Okay. Alright, so now, with our Gatling gun, we're just going to shoot them. 
we should get the achievement for it. In addition to a treasure that we need. So. So yeah, this is one of the better weapons as well. If you can't afford to get the rocket launcher. But, or if you don't have enough time. But I mean. But you will unfortunately have to. Um, uh, uh, spend a lot of money on. Um. Upgrading the machine gun, uh, the very first one you get. Uh, luckily, um, with the with with the duplication glitch, you can get money easily. That's the most li likely reason why you would uh, do that glitch in the first place. So yeah, you should get the achievement anytime soon. Oh my God, I'm being run to death. Yep, we got the achievement there. Crowd control, it's called. Defeat 30 enemies with the Gatling gun. I'm gonna try and kill more though, because obviously. I want to try and find, I think it's one of the bomber ones where they, they, they give you a uh, uh, treasure. It's one of those ones. Uh, so I'm just going to wait. I think it's this one. So we kill him and then, there we go, the Topaz Marguise. We got that. So now... Oh god, I'm dying. Wait, we got another Oh yeah, it's the evil long in a museum, yeah. It's like a reference to Indiana Jones. <laughs> so next up we're gonna try the longbow, and so this one you can only use Sheva with, so uh, uh, cool how it uh, switches size as well. And yeah, you can see we've got all treasures now. Uh, I am still gonna sh uh, I will still show off uh, these, uh, so yeah, uh, I'll get them, so not all of them, but I mean, so yeah, with the longbow right here, I'm just going to put that away, why not, and why not, we can sell that as well, why not, and put that away, uh, but unfortunately for Sheva, if you decide to play as her, um, the HUD will be on the different side and you'll be on the other side, so it'll be like this. And there's no way to change it in this game. Cool how when you're far away from a character and, he's and he or she is talking, then uh, the walkie-talkie comes on as well. <laughs> so it's like a walkie-talkie. It's kind of cool how they do that. Uh, but we're going to get the longbow, so uh, yeah. Okay, so after the cutscene, we should have the longbow. So here's our longbow right here, which we'll look at it more in a moment. So, yeah, the longbow is also infinite ammo, but unfortunately only Sheva can use. I'm surprised Chris can't use this because it looks suitable for Chris as well. Because um, I mean, I mean, Rambo uses a bow and he's a man, so. <laughs> Oh, I missed the crows. Oh, no. But we're going to go back to those enemies. Uh, I don't need to get the Topaz Marguis again. Um, uh, and that is the only place you can find the Topaz Marguis as well. Uh, there's no other place in the game where it has that. Unfortunately, so... So then we're going to wait. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, you can do the same thing with Sheva there, so with the first guy that we need to beat up, we're gonna... Oh boy! Oh no, we'll shoot his PP. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like when Sheva guts out of the window. Same, but in a different camera angle, sort of. And then we should get these enemies. Oh wow, headshot! A bit difficult because obviously you have to keep reloading your bow, but I mean I think most of them are insta kills, so Oh god damn it. Oh, I didn't realise Chris still has his Gatling gun, oh my god. Okay. And after 30 enemies we should get it. If Chris doesn't kill him, oh my god. 
Black out the map appears on the other side as well. But there is unfortunately no way to change uh, so Shevo appears on the other side of the screen. There's no way to change it. They did do something like that in Resident Evil 6. Uh, where you can press a button to do it. Uh, oh god. Okay. Nearly there. Oh wow, headshot. You can easily get headshots with some of these. Okay. Though the longbow's not that good still, so only problem is that there's a lot of these and obviously But once we get the achievement, uh we're fine. If I can get past them. I'll go here. Have a better chance of it. Whoa! Lots of explosions. I can get the Topaz Marquise again. Not that I need it, but I mean... Okay. Yeah, why not? We'll get it again. Stop using your Gatling gun, Chris. It's my job to kill them. Okay, I killed him. Oh! Oh! Oh, one, two, three. Oh, you got shot. Oh, you got shot. Oh, you got shot in the belly button. Oh, you got shot in the head. Should get the achievement anytime soon. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Oh, there you are. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, you're down. Wait, is that all enemies? The locals were hostile and we had to use force. We don't have any contingency plans for this situation, do we, Kirk? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll have to kill more enemies then. Alright then, we'll do this hard section then and see if we can kill them from there. Obviously it doesn't matter now. Oh, can we can we shoot this guy with the bow and arrow? Because I did manage to kill him with the uh Oh my god, it is possible! We can get that we can get that guy. Wow. Oh, there we go. There's our achievement after killing that guy. Bullseye. 30 enemies with the longbow. So that's that. Okay, so that's all the gun specific achievements. Uh, the guns that you can only use with certain characters. So that's those done at least. Alright, so I thought for the. Uh, before we show off the bonuses we can buy with points, we'll fight off Wesker with our own rocket launcher, shall we? If we take advantage yeah, we of the shot, we might actually hit him. So, um... Are you okay? So, because we have our own rocket launcher and it's infinite, we don't even have to get out of a rocket launcher now. And where is Shadow? Come on. Oh my god, I keep getting beaten up. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, hopefully I can get an S rank with this because obviously I haven't before, so... Well, on this system anyway. So, I'm going to see if I can, so, we should make it so Wesker can't see us, except he did. Right, I'm going to make it so I run away, it would be better if I had full HP, but... Has it never occurred to you that this planet is overpopulated? Only a handful of there we go, we got that, and then, I'm going to do that, and then, let's see, do it now. Give him a shot. can we, wow, straight away, sometimes it won't work straight away, but, and obviously if you skip cutscenes at uh, button moments, it'll only skip to the moments where you have to press buttons, global masturbation, <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to say that. Alright, we've got a dodge there. And then. And. We save Sheva from suicide. From here.
And now... Now we can show off this quick kill on Wesker here. So obviously we gotta go through this volcano area. Why can't you understand, Chris? Fall back! Then... So then when Wesker comes to the platform we're on, so this one right here, we're going to wait for him to do the, um, so it shows off this, and then we just shoot his back. It's that quick, hold on. Now, there we go. You can see how quick that is. And then it's just the moment of doing this moment. And let's hope we get an S rank. I don't know if we do. Yes! There we go. Only six minutes and 55 seconds. Wow. And then... Because I've got an S rank on all stages now, on amateur mode at least. Uh, let's look at our records. We should have, yeah. S, 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 And all that. Uh, only reason I've got S's on normal and veteran as well for one mission is it's just that one, you know, when you're in the car and such. Uh, so, with this, uh, not only an item management, um, and the still all treasures and all that, and you can upgrade your guns and such, uh, I'm still gonna have to do the, uh, glitch off screen, so then, um, then I can pretty much show the achievement, uh, later on after I've upgraded them all, because it does take a while, but we can show off the bonus features, now, some of these are free to get, like, these are more costumes you can get. Uh, I'm gonna get those. You can even get filters as well. Uh... Oh, we got an achievement. All dressed up. Purchase all available alternative costumes in the bonus features. Uh, you can see not only you need all medals to get some stuff, but you also need to complete certain things, so... For this one, this is another filter. You have to finish it on normal mode. This one, you have to finish on veteran mode. Uh, and all the other figurines cost points. The points are what you get after finishing stages. And obviously, if you get an S rank, the higher. And on higher difficulties, the higher points you get. So I'm going to buy all of these. Because you get an achievement for getting all these as well. Every other, everything else in here is optional. You can get infinite ammo by spending points. Uh, the better the gun, the higher the costs and all that. We should have enough for all of these. If not, we can replay some stages until you get enough. But we should have enough for all of these. Along with some... Um, I don't know if you can buy extra figurines here, or if you just unlock them normally, but... Oh, wow, I bought infinite ammo. We got... They're, they're action figures! Collect all figurines, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can buy infinite ammo as well. I don't know why I got uh, infinite ammo for that, uh, it don't matter now. Uh, yeah, the higher the cost. Uh, other things are uh, characters for versus mode. Wait, they're all 2,000 points now? Because in the original, uh, the, the, the higher ones costed more, but I guess they cost less now. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I'll purchase some of these. I just need to purchase F, G, and H. Okay. If that's the case, because I, I thought in the original, the last one costed like 50,000 points, but apparently not anymore. Um, okay. So yeah, we got... Basically, two achievements at once. Uh, uh, the filter is just basically... Uh, I just prefer default, but the others are just basically changing colour palettes. So, classic horror. And then the others are obviously a secret. Um, uh, you can find them out yourself, because I'm not going to show off everything else. Let into that. 
For costumes, we get Safari Chris, which is, he's a zebra. The star, so based on his Resident Evil 1 appearance. Uh, and then Warrior, which which he is topless. We can see his nipples. And then for Sheva, we got uh, Clubbin, we got Tribal, and Business. They're the ones we've unlocked. Uh, wait, no, no, Business and uh, Warrior Chris were the ones we got before. Uh, it, these ones we unlock, and these ones we unlock, and then the last ones are when we finish the game. So then, of course, Infinite Ammo. You can see. Our very first handgun is now infinite ammo. So that's cool. Um, and just because um, it doesn't say infinite ammo on um, on any of these, uh, even if you selected it, you'll still get infinite ammo in the game, even though it only shows the maximum amount of ammo it has in them. So. Uh, another achievement you can get is called Stockpile, and what you have to do is not only buy every single gun, but have nearly everything that you can put in your inventory. So, even these, you have to put in your inventory in order for it to count. Along with more of these, I think there's one more of these I've got to get. Uh, I don't know which one, though. Uh, so, those nitrogen ones, I think. Um, so, uh, I guess I'll see you guys when I get some of them. Alright guys, so the very last thing I would like to show off in this video is is getting the last few achievements involving your inventory. So not the treasure one, but the ones involving upgrading all guns and buying all guns. So here, we're going to buy this. And we should get an achievement. Because we've got all guns. There we go. Stockpile, it's called. One of them. Obtain all available weapons, so that's one of them. So yeah, and then we're going to fully upgrade this. I don't know if um, I'll have enough money. If not, then I'll just do the trick once again. I might. Alright, let's see. Upgrade this shit. Oh, I don't have enough money. I'll be back. Doing all this bullshit again, blah, blah, blah. Alright guys, I'm back and... Wait, what? It didn't duplicate. Gotta do all this shit again. Fuck's sake. Alright, has it finally duplicated? What? It's still not duplicated? How is it not working anymore? I have no clue what's going on. Just realised because I didn't connect my other controller to the other account. So it should have worked now. Yeah, there we go. Because I've not connected it to the other fucking account. That is why it didn't work. Uh, but hopefully uh, we should have enough to... Um, should have enough cash to upgrade this Magnum. Because then it will be the most powerful handgun in the world. And will blow your head clean off. Do you feel lucky? We should get an achievement in a couple of moments. There we go. Take it to the max. Completely upgrade all weapons. So that's all that done. Now, that, believe it or not, there's another achievement we can get here. And believe it or not, you get an achievement by purchasing all versus characters. And I've not got this achievement in my life. Not even on 360. Because obviously the points are more expensive. So when we buy our last one, we should get our achievement. Let's get this party started right! That is what it is. So, yeah. Uh, I'll check if there's anything else, and if not, then we'll end it off. Okay, though, so I think that will be it for today's video then, guys, for this bonus video. So, in the next bonus video, we'll focus on Lost in Nightmares, which is pretty much the first expansion pack for this game, sort of. A, a new game mode. And then after that, we'll do Desperate Escape, which is uh, uh, kind of different. Uh, and, and it's a lot harder than the other, so... Versus I might do in the future, I'm not sure, because it involves playing with strangers, so people you don't fucking know, so... But yeah, so it's basically host game or join game, and all that. 
Uh, so I'm not doing that shit yet. And mercenaries I might do next, uh, ne probably in the future as well, maybe not this year. Uh, which, this version of mercenaries has all characters already unlocked, surprisingly. So we don't have to unlock them anymore. And I think No Mercy is the original version. Uh, well, it says more than the original. I think only PC versions had that one. Uh, and not console versions, I'm not sure. I and then Solo is just pretty much... I think normal mercenaries, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know too much about mercenaries United, but... Okay. And this is pretty much our stats so far. I've already completed some missions on normal mode, by the way, so that's why... Uh, yeah, you're seeing more S's and such. But we only... It only took us about 15 hours to finish everything. Well, for me at least. Uh, less for you seeing the video guys but and gals, but for me doing things personally. And we got all emblems. Uh, these are the amount of times we was rescued and died. We've not played online, ever. Uh, and all this. It's just the amount of time you use some of your guns. Uh, some of them we've not used. Uh, the accuracy of all the guns. Uh, I doubt, yeah, the rocket launcher will be high on the list. And then, the amount of enemies we defeated. Uh, <laughs> one Irvin, that's obviously the boss. And then, how many deaths we've been taken from certain enemies. Oh, that's what they're called, the Reapers. They're the, they're the enemies that fucking stab you to death. Such. They're annoying. I wish they extinct. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Leaderboards is obviously just uh, online stuff and all that. And then library. Uh, we can check things out. So the files is just all the files. History of Resident Evil is just basically all the histories you'll get for different years before this game, obviously, which is in 2009. And all of them. We've got figures. You unlock these uh, by purchasing them. Uh, through the points menu. Extra figures, though, is got through DLC. Uh, so we got these ones already, but these last four. And I think you unlock these after uh, finishing Lost in Nightmares and Desperate Escape, but I think uh, doing mercenaries as well with certain characters. I'm not quite sure, though. And that's how you get all the extra figures unlocked. And then cutscenes is just, well, all the cutscenes, <laughs> so uh, all the way to the last one, which is the credits. But you can also view the non the, the uh, other credits uh, with the credits menu as well. And then options has nothing interesting to us because uh, this screen setting is just the brightness. The it's the special settings that have the different filters. So. One last thing to mention is that whenever we, um, whenever you finish all chap all chapters on veteran mode, you will unlock professional mode, which is the highest difficulty of this game, and and it's right hard. Uh, trust me, and the Jill fight is the hardest, I'd say, because obviously in veteran and professional mode, but mostly professional, uh, buttons are random. Uh, most of the time, though some are exactly the same. Uh, most notably when you need to dodge and such, they're random uh, and they're most likely different. Uh, some bu some buttons require you to press two buttons at once rather than just one uh, to do some like dodging or shooting. And, and pretty much on professional mode, any hit from any enemy will always bring you to a dying state. <laughs> and even using it with the rocket launcher is hard as well, especially when your partner gets in the way. <laughs> so, uh, I'll not show how to unlock that because you just beat veteran mode. And it's the same with the DLC uh, the DLC missions as well. Uh, beat them on veteran mode, you'll get prof professional mode for those. And they each have their own achievements. So, uh, uh, so... Beating normal mode, all chapters on normal mode, I think is, I think the achievement name is Soldier. Uh, and then 
the veteran one is just called veteran, and then the uh, professional one is called war hero. That's for the main game. And we'll talk about the DLC one when we do the DLC missions. So I think I'm gonna head off. So uh, that is so that's the first uh, bonus video for Resident Evil Five. Thank you guys for watching. We'll do those two DLC missions, and then we're pretty much done with Resident Evil 5. Well, for this year at least. Uh, not counting Mercenaries or Versus. I don't know if I'll ever do those, but... Uh, mercenaries, luckily, is not achievement-based. There's no achievements for that. Um, there are unlockable characters in the original uh, 360 and PS3 versions, but it seems like they're already unlocked from the start in the remastered versions on Xbox One and PS4, it seems. Um... Uh, but versus mode does have uh, achievements. Luckily, they do. They did make them easier for the remastered version because originally, you had to win thirty matches for each of uh, each type of game in there. But now you just need to win fifteen. It still takes a while, but I mean, still at least at least it saves you time. So yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna head off. Uh, we'll do Lost in Nightmares and Desperate Escape in the next two videos. So. I'll see you guys next time, Jane Pabell. See you guys next time. Bye! Come on! Okay, come, come on! on. Roger! Come on! 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 Come on!